How is the coronavirus affecting Las Vegas? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm gonna to be discussing how this awful virus is affecting us in Las Vegas. The coronavirus outbreak continues to cause closures in business conferences, shows, sporting events, and gatherings in Las Vegas. Um, the Las Vegas Strip has been hit the hardest, especially with this outbreak. Um, it's kind of scary to think what's happening. You know, for a minute there, I was not panicking uh, when the whole rush to get toilet paper everyone was getting toilet paper i didn't see the reason to and then now everything is starting to hit me um i think in the last week things have just been coming to reality for everyone and not just vegas but for everyone across the country um, with more and more cases being reported of people having tested positive for the the covid 19. Mandalay Bay has confirmed last week that they're closing down all their restaurants and so is MGM Grand. Their restaurants and uh, buffets are going to be closed down and when announced that they won't be supporting any large entertainment gatherings or buffets or anything with human contact. And since Las Vegas thrives on the tourism industry, we have been affected majorly by this virus. MGM Resorts International told their employees yesterday, Friday the 13th, that um, there's going to be further reduction in furloughs and layoffs starting next week. And over 150 restaurants have been closed down in the MGM casinos. Hundreds of conferences, concerts, or sporting events worldwide have either been postponed or canceled, which is kind of crazy um, because a lot of Famous events like Coachella has been postponed till the fall and then um, Austin has the South by Southwest coming up and that's been postponed or canceled totally. So this is crazy how it's affecting us. Um, and it's not just affecting Las Vegas. I'm sure other parts of the country has been affected hard, but maybe not as hard as us in Las Vegas again because of our tourism industry. Last week, UNLV announced that they will go to online courses after their spring break on March 23rd. So far, the Clark County School District has not closed schools down just yet because there has been no reported cases of children having the virus. However, um, there were two private schools in Summerlin that did close down um, for about a month or tentatively until we find out what's going on with the virus and that was the Meadows School and then the Alexander Dawson School. Both of those two private schools in Summerlin closed down and that's kind of going to be tricky. I can understand colleges shutting down because most of the students have online access um, but high schoolers, middle schoolers, and elementary schoolers they don't have online access or not everyone does and some of them are in a lower socioeconomic status so they can't afford to have the internet. And if things are closing down, how are they gonna go um, get online training or tutoring or whatever? If the schools close down, it's gonna be hit hard for a lot of these kids because they rely on the schools for food, for breakfast, lunch. And with the closing of schools, that's gonna be very detrimental to them. And then what about the parents? If some of them still have to go to work, who's gonna take care of their children? That's just crazy. There was a petition going around that I saw that um, somebody was trying to get the schools to close down. And I mean, there's pros and cons to it. I understand the safety of children, but then you got to think of the repercussions. All this is going to happen to everybody's lives and not just the kids' lives, but the entire family. Um, but CCSD, which is Clark County School District, did suspend all activities, um, events, sporting events, all that stuff which is kind of sad because my daughter is a senior in high school right now and she may not graduate. She may be able to graduate technically, but there may not be a ceremony for her. And that really sucks for a high school senior, um, missing prom, all those 
fun events that seniors are, are should have. You know, part of the American lifestyle is having um, experienced all those things, right? We did, so it's a shame that our children that are graduating in 2020 cannot have that. And hopefully that they'll be able to do online classes and that they technically can graduate even though they won't have a ceremony. So that's pretty hard and, and that's when it started to get real is when um, you think about that for your kids. As a parent, you think about those things. I mean, if your children are younger, it's, it's a whole nother story. But since a lot of parents have kids that are seniors, that's just, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> Um, of course, some of the kids probably don't mind missing school. However, uh, there again are repercussions on all of it. And last Thursday, Governor Sisolak declared uh, a state of emergency for Nevada because of the growing cases of the coronavirus. The Southern Nevada Health District on Friday the 13th announced eight more new cases of the coronavirus in Clark County doubling the amount that we had before. So now we have 16 cases in Southern Nevada and then total across the state of Nevada is 20. So 16 in Southern Nevada is actually kind of scary, especially if in one day we have eight new cases. Who's to know how many new cases it's gonna keep on reporting? Here in, in Las Vegas, because we are a tourism industry, we have a lot of conferences that have been canceled or postponed. So I'm going to go over a list of all the known um, canceled or postponed events that were happening this March and April. At least 17 conferences have been canceled or postponed, which kind of again hits hard because of it being a tourism industry. That's about 290,000 people that will not be in Las Vegas this springtime. So I'm gonna go over a list of um, conferences or events that have been canceled so far here in Las Vegas. One of them was the um, International Pizza Expo, and then um, engineering company Aruba Networks will not be hosting their conference. Um, the Channel Partners Conference and Expo, Security Industry Conference, ISC West, um, 2020 Veteran Stand Down, the Adobe Summit, Cinecon, um, International Wireless Communication Expo, the National Association of Broadcasts, NAB, and Sweet World 20. I mean, the list is, there's more and more. And if you ever want to learn more about what's being canceled or what's actually happening here in Las Vegas, go to the Las Vegas Review Journal. They have their whole news online. That's where I get all my information from. Every day I check the new, uh, review journal to see what's happening. And I used to not be like that. I used to only check the business section once every week or two for real estate. But now because of this virus, I am checking it daily. And things are changing daily. Um, some of what I may say today may be different tomorrow. You just never know because of how fast this thing is spreading. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I wasn't panicking yet. I, it didn't hit me until this week. And then I started panicking. It's not that the virus that I'm in fear of, it's just the fear of not making money, not selling houses. So if I can't sell houses, how am I gonna pay my mortgage? How am I gonna pay my car payments? All the other living expenses that are required. Um, and I don't wanna go homeless and I don't wanna go into a foreclosure. Uh, so it's pretty scary. I feel bad for all those employees that have gotten laid off because we have a life, we have families, we have things to take care of. And if we can't, then thousands and millions of people in Vegas are going to be homeless. <laughs> just, just scary, just scary, scary, scary. You know, since Vegas is a big sporting area now, UNLV and UNR also canceled all their sporting events. But weirdly, the NFL draft is still a go, so that has not been canceled yet. And the Las Vegas Polo Classic has been moved to July. The Pac-12 men's um, basketball tournament at T-Mobile Arena has been canceled. Uh, the Western Athletic Conference has been canceled. The NBA has suspended its season. The NHL has suspended its season. 
uh, the Las Vegas Aviators have suspended its season. So that's big when all the sporting events um, cancel, especially when they had the Utah Jazz basketball player tested positive for the coronavirus. And I'm glad that we are taking precautions because you just never know. I just recently watched that movie Contagion and it really hit home. Maybe that's when I started freaking out. <laughs> I saw that movie back when it came out in 2011, but it is so similar to what's going on now, it's kind of scary. And how that virus spread in the movie was from a bat, and then that bat went and pooped in a pig pen, and then the pigs ate the poop, and then the you know people killed the pig, and ate the pig and then that's how it got spread. So it's kind of scary that um, that's how things start. But you know, another thing I think about is I really haven't heard much about what's going on in China. It's all now what's happening here in the United States and, and Italy's gotten hit hard, really hard. It's just, just crazy, it's just crazy. You know, Congress is shutting down. Um, Princess Cruise Lines is suspending their operation, while Disney Company has closed all their parks around the world. And then Trump announced that he was cutting off travel from Europe, which makes sense. And um, if you plan on going anywhere in the next couple of months, I would definitely try to cancel your tickets to get a refund or postpone it for a later date, because if you leave, you may not be able to get back into the country. That would be my biggest fear. If I left the States and went somewhere, you may not be able to get back in. Maybe they'll test you, I don't know. And this Friday, President Trump also announced a national emergency, so that way it could free up funds. I'm hoping that, and a lot of people are talking, there's so many different threads out there, and it, you just don't know what to believe anymore in social media, but I'm hoping that Donald Trump will um, allow us, or you know, all loans, all mortgages, uh, hopefully we can postpone that because there's gonna be millions of Americans that cannot make their mortgage payments or their car payments. All types of loan payments we cannot make because everyone's losing their jobs. I'm in the real estate industry. Does anyone wanna buy a house right now because of the uncertainty of what's happening with the economy? And we could have a crash, the houses could be a lot cheaper. You just never know what's gonna happen and, and hopefully we will have relief on that end and that the mortgage companies will be forgiving and let us skip a payment or two. That would be key and that would probably ease a lot of minds. I know that would ease my mind. But the biggest takeaway of all of this is that um, because Las Vegas is a tourism industry, we have gotten hit the hardest financially because of that, because we rely so heavily on our tourists coming to see us and hotel rooms have cut the rates like down to nothing. So if you wanna stay in a nice hotel <laughs> or casino, then you may be able to get a cheap rate. And if you're not um, in fear of flying, because I know a lot of airlines like Frontier have cut their prices like triple or half, um, then come see us. Cause you know, now may be the time to visit without the strip being overly crowded and, um, it may be time for me to go visit this trip because I haven't been on years because of how crowded it is now. The virus has spread to 110 countries already. And I mean, unlike the movie that I was talking about, Contagion, Contagion or whatever, it was spreading pretty fast. But what is the government doing to um, have a cure for it or to prevent it. Um, and it's not just with the old people. I was actually watching a YouTube video last night. Um, I'll post a link to that video about someone from the CDC talking about it's just the beginning. Um, it's gonna start spreading fast and hard. So hopefully the world can find a, a vaccine for this. And you would have thought that with all these movies about this type of event, they would have kind of um, had some type of vaccine in play, but you just never know. You never know if they already have one. You never know if it's a conspiracy to let it spread. So many things you just never know. <laughs> and basically 80% of the documented cases, the people that have the coronavirus have been mild, but there've been about almost 5,000 deaths 
with the virus. It'd be interesting to see how many of that came from China. So as of the other day, there was 36 reported deaths in the United States and 30 of them came from Washington state alone. And I think 11 or 12 of that came from a nursing home. And then um, California's reported four, Florida two, New Jersey and South Dakota one. So as the weeks go by, those numbers are obviously gonna increase. Basically it's saying that this virus spreads like a cold and can live on surfaces for up to three days. And symptoms may appear after two to 14 days after you have had exposure to it. Um, so again, if you're feeling sick, stay home, wash your hands every time you come in. Um, unfortunately, limit your outings. Uh, it's gonna suck because I, I go to the gym every day and that's gonna be very hard for me. But luckily I have a little home gym and I could walk outside, but I like getting out and going to the gym. As a Las Vegan, we just gotta pray. We need to help each other out. We need to stand together as a community. I went grocery shopping on Friday and it was a zoo. It was crazy. Everyone's already freaking out. Um, all the top ramen was gone. Toilet paper was gone a long time ago. All the dry goods, rice, beans, all that was gone. Um, so people here are starting to panic and I'm sure across the country everyone's starting to do the same thing. It's amazing how many shelves are empty at the grocery store. Anyway, I rambled on enough about the coronavirus. The main thing is, is that we need to stand together as a community and help each other out. Um, if you need anything, leave a comment down below. You can always give me a call. Maybe I can have it be a resource to help you out. Um, but again, we need to stand tall and we need to, you know, stand together as a community. And that's going to be hard, but you got to put yourself in other people's shoes. I mean, what happens if it could happen to you? If you're fortunate enough, then volunteer, go help out. Um, anyway, that's enough about it. But again, Vegas has been hit hard and things are changing constantly. Uh, lots of shows and events are being canceled or postponed for future dates. Uncertainty is here and the uncertainty is what makes it scary. Again, for me, it's not the coronavirus that scares me. It's the uncertainty of not knowing how the economy is going to react to this, especially with everything. Anyway, that's enough about that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any information about the virus, just post it down in the comments. I may do another video next week with an update of what's happening in the Las Vegas Valley. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do. I'm not going to get into all that. Um, but thank you for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.